All right, day number two here in Casablanca, in Casa Bianca. Um, we are preparing some food. Goji is cutting the watermelon because he's a watermelon sugar guy. And I'm preparing some yogurts and quarks. So a big bowl for tomorrow because tomorrow we are heading to Marrakesh with the train and we need to have some food. And it's a three, uh, three hour, uh, two and a half an hour. Two and a half an hour. Two and a half hour trip. So yeah, we need something. But also for today, because today we do basically the same stuff as we did yesterday, but in the evening we are heading south, so we are heading to the party location which is set yesterday, so where the shisha lounges and all that stuff is. So we will have a shisha, so we will stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will prepare the yogurt, I will mix it all together in a bowl uh, with some almonds, also very good. Today bought some bread, we also have ananas and yeah. Pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. Pineapple, all the same. So, yeah, see you. I don't know where we see us next, but in the video you will see it. Snack number one. What is the party kit? Alright, so we just found out that the place where we are located at is called Bistana CR7. So, Look at that boy! Ready for the beach! For the beach! He's also ready for the beach! He's beach ready! What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> like the Superman! The movies! Alright, look at my hair. We're heading to the beach now to find some restaurant and also a shisha lounge afterwards. So maybe we'll find something also to shoot some pics. Maybe at the beach, we have to see. Doji is giving us the direction. <laughs> so let's go. Station. Goji will get arrested for his South Tyrolean behavior. <laughs> the place where we can eat a tagine called Bubicana here on um, what's the Corniche is the location or Corniche is the area um, yeah here's the menu here are the tagines let's see what we get I'm hungry so here you have a photographer in his natural habitat he does what he can do best looking stupid with his cam Like a boat. The sense. So everyone is waiting for uh, what's called fast impression. Yesterday I googled it. Yesterday I googled it. Wait a second. Okay. An Arabic name. Iftar. Iftar it's called. So here we have our favorite tea. Te alamente. Probably get a tagine. It's an hour until we get it. It's now 5 p.m. Fish, fish, chicken, viand, fish, fleisch, 
Ob und ob, was ihr wollt. Käfte, was ihr wollt. Ja, wir teilen mal das nicht ab. Das ist auch ein Lauter in Zeit. Direkt keiner. Kleine Scheer. Alright, we ordered a Coke Zero. Pretty nice, pretty vintage, like Koji said. And I also ordered a Tagine. What was it called? Tagine? Kefta. Kefta Duff. So it means uh, meatballs with eggs, tomato sauce, and what was also in there? Yeah, uh, vegetables I also took. Exactly. Yeah, waiting for the food. And afterwards, we are having a, a shisha and also this nice minced tea. So I am excited for that. Oh, I can't Who talking? Who's talking here? <laughs> All right, so the plate broke. <laughs> Roger, what are you doing? I'm trying to eat. Drift the ball. Caroline, boy. Right, I realized there's no egg in there. That's strange. Goji destroyed my plate. Bad Goji. Bad Goji. Alright, so food is mostly done. Now we are eating a fish. But also Berna wants to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> she, he's scared about the fish, bro. So yeah, the food was okay. You see it on the plate. <laughs> So oh, it, uh, it was okay, yeah. The fir my first tagine, but I think they only did it in a pan, so nothing special. Um, yeah, it, we realized that they don't uh, put a lot of salt on the food. I don't know, maybe it's the uh, mentality here that, yeah. Because of Ramadan, I think. Yeah, or maybe because of that, that they don't know uh, how to cook good food. <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, like I said, it was okay. Let's see what we get in Marrakesh, maybe a better tagine. And yeah, but uh, now I'm excited for the tea and for the shisha. I can't do anything wrong with that. I hope. Mm. Ah, we also found out that Pestana is really a hole to promote it by CR7. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new compact. <laughs> Alright, so Goji, what do you say? How was the dinner? Um, for 600 dirham, which are 60 euro, it was way too much uh, because it was like they oh, pay attention because they tip it with 10% of services, uh, but they do not told us that. And also, the um, drinks were 90 dirham, which is 9 euro for a Coke. So, ask before you go to eat, ask the prices because okay, 20 years is not a lot, but. In general, we, we yeah for Morocco it's it's, it's a lot. It's, yeah, it's a lot. Normally, the food is way less expensive. Than um, so sometimes. always ask for the price before you get dinner. And probably it's normal with the 10% fee, but we don't know because it was our first restaurant visit here. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, uh, we hope we have more luck with a shisha. Yeah, so hopefully. But um, so we yeah, luck. They want to the <laughs> And yeah. So that's basically everything for now. So let's oh, get Oh shit. Bentley. Kili lache. Oh. oh there's Kili lache. Oh you have uh, to record lache. it. English? Lache. English. English. Uh, English. Ah. Enchanté. Enchanté. Je ne parle pas français. Non. Quoi d'abord? Tu dis moi le français. Là oui. Au revoir. Au revoir. Merci, merci. <laughs> okay, let's go. Goji, do you know on which place it reminds me? Sorry? Kita Beach in oh, Dubai. You, yeah. Looks a little bit like it. I am a flash. Oh. 
Bist du fair? Oh, bist du fair? Oh, bist du fair? Unfortunately, we don't have any money anymore. No, no shisha for today. No tea. It's really difficult to pay here in Morocco because there aren't so many ATMs and the card isn't accepted in every store or every restaurant so that's a little difficult but to make the best out of it we will um, yeah, we'll look around what we can find and take some nice pictures with the sunset as you can see right there and yeah Iftar is also pretty pretty soon and you see a lot of nice cars but I think it's because it's Saturday, Saturday evening, so yeah, let's see what we find. So something is really pretty strange, there are a lot of security guards, I don't know if there are places where the tourists are allowed and places where it's more dangerous, but there are plenty of security guards, yeah, I don't know why, but maybe because of the security for the tourists. So yeah, here we are safe, but I don't know how it is if we go more inside of it, or in the favelas, I don't know how you call it in Moroccan, Arabic, but like in Brazil, for the poor people. So we just realized that it's pretty uh, good that there are a lot of security guards at police stations, because otherwise sometimes if you go through the streets and the kids approach you or even other guys, it's yeah, sometimes a little weird. So you feel more safe with all this security guard. So I think that's the reason why they are here. They haven't uh, eaten for the whole day and now they're all quite hungry. They are meeting here in this place all together to see the sunset and eat something. Well, sunset in Casablanca, pretty nice. So that's pretty cool, they are partying or they are having their iftar here on the beach. If you see all the people behind us, so pretty cool. And yeah, they're waiting for the sunset. It's, yeah, as you can see, it's now iftar. So the sun is here and it's about 7, 7, 15. So yeah, I think they can start to eat now. So I think that was basically everything for today. So day number two or three here in Casablanca. Yeah, it's the full day, it's the second day. So we arrived two days ago, but yeah, there we also only had the afternoon here. It's our last day here in Casablanca. So tomorrow we are heading to Marrakesh. So let's see how it is. So have a nice evening. <laughs>